Oh, 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 Hey, if she's as randy as you reckon, T, I'd ask her not to drop the meal if I were you. In case she makes a show of it in public, like, you know. All right there, girls. Anyone need service in tonight? <laughs> See what you mean there, T. She's really begging for it then, wasn't she? <laughs> How's it going? Ah, nice. I had to go on a course for this bloody machine, you know. There was a fella there. Could strip them down just like that. In fact, they only have to look at them. They practically strip themselves. He reminded me of you and your bird a little bit. Mind <laughs> oh, you, they were brand new machines, weren't they? Dump them in a place like this, done for a few years, then let all the crap accumulate, and then try and get the bloody covers off. Once they've got away from you for a few years, lad, you'll never get these back again. Same as women. I take it then, Robert, the answer to my original question, how's it going? It's not very well. Correct, lad. What time is it, Johnny? Nearly break. It's good. Didn't go too well last night either, did it? You talk about the mysterious world of Arthur C. Clarke. What was he playing on all that stalemate bullshit? Why? We should just drag Thomas and across the table and watch with him. Now I know why you're not on the negotiating committee. You're what they call the dispassionate voice of reason, you see, Jonah. Really, you're only there, aren't you? To old backers, bloody militant offsets. Don't take the piss, Bobby. Well, don't talk such bloody garbage, son. It chokes me off, that's I know, but it chokes us all off, doesn't it? I mean, it's not our fault the arse is hanging out the economy, is it? No, and it's not theirs either. Yeah, but they should have seen it coming, shouldn't they? I mean, we can't, can we? No, that heads stick up the arse of some lousy, obviously, piece of shit like that. Yeah, they should have seen it coming and took steps to avoid it. He tried to, didn't he? Bonehead. And it meant 200 of us losing our jobs. Remember? Oh, piss off. Listen, Jonah, there's two-way traffic, lad. I'll grant you this. These are not the most dynamic bloody management in the country. But it's time for the decision now, and we've got to make up our minds which way we go. Because we're at the bloody crossroads, right? And once we make our mind up and go, it's no use looking back and saying which way we should have gone. Understand me? And that's what Arthur Clarke was trying to do last night. He was trying to pick the best bloody road for us all to take. So long as we don't go round in friggin' circles and end up right back where we started from. There's no chance of that, lad. This firm's on a gradient going that way. Down. But it's far worse than just teasing. It's a continual, calculated, premeditated campaign. To some extent, I can put up with petty jealousies. I can understand it if I make them feel inadequate. Educationally, I mean. It's not their fault they haven't had the education I have. Sorry, I, I don't mean that as a reflection on you or your staff. I just mean that this isn't exactly Lady Mount, is it? Perhaps not in academic success, but there are positive benefits to be gained here, Lucy. For instance, yes, you get learning the... learning how to resist a protection racket. Now, you can't tell me that's unheard of at Lady Mount. Well, no, but at least we could talk to the staff about it. When did the uh, demands for money start? Yesterday. So I thought I'd better finish it before it started. Quite. I'm just sorry it'll only be her word against mine. Oh, I can quite believe what you say. Oh, Sally, 
we'll have McGovern in now. Perhaps we really can nip this in the bud before it goes anywhere. All right, come on. Well, I'm just glad I'm the only bug around there that can keep this bloody old conception going anyway. We'll be out by next Wednesday, won't we? Certainly looks that way, Joe, mate. Shit, I've just bought a new boat, too. A new boat? I've got a bloody big new house, lad. <laughs> It'll be all right if you have to sell that. With your lot, you end up with a brand new council house. If I have to sell me boat, honestly, it's not even sailing club. That's the trouble with me, Joe, I thought I was the only one round here with any bloody problems. You know, it'll be half of it, Bobby, you see. <laughs> It's only a word against mine. But your past record speaks for itself. So does his, I suppose. You know the score by now. Your card's marked. Again. Outside. It won't just end there, will it? I hope so. But you don't believe it will. She knows that you're not afraid to stir it up a bit. She'll probably look for a softer target. They usually do. We'll keep an eye on you, Lucy. Don't worry. A solitary confinement would be better. Sorry? Nothing. Do you, uh, do you want me to organise a lift for you, just in case she decides to wait? OK. Make yourself comfortable for a moment while I sign a few letters. Slow on her. Don't want an audience, do you? For what? You want tea? Yeah, I'll just go to the toilet first. Where's your mum? She's gone over to me hands. And uh, your dad's an afternoon, so we won't be disturbed. Which is mine? This one. Oh, what are you moving away for? What? Why don't you come over here and stand next to me? I won't stand here. You've uh, still fancy me then? Suppose so. I'm here, aren't I? Well, it didn't seem like it last night. Just don't start that again. Well, if you feel like that, why did you come with me before? I didn't want to make you look soft in front of your mates. God knows why, because you don't need my help for that. At least I'm not a friggin' teaser like you. And at least I'm not a friggin' egg case like you. You cow! Get up! Friggin' teaser you are. Well, you're going to come across tonight, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, all right. Don't hurt me. Where do you want to do it? Here. No. Upstairs, the man's. No, I'm there. OK. Move. Have you got anything, you know? Get on the pillar, aren't you? I'm going bird back. Move! Can I have my cup of tea? And what? My tea, can I finish it off? Are you trying to be funny? No, it's just that, well, if you're going to rape me, I might as well, mightn't I? Well, that's what you're trying to do, isn't it? Rape me, or can't you get it off now? You've got to, you know, if you want to rape someone. Oh, such you! 
just trouble. I didn't want you anyway. Turn the light on, will you? Yeah, hold on then. <laughs> Slow down a bit, sir. <laughs> hey, how much are you screwing Victor for? No, he aren't you? Hope you've got your end sorted out. I'm just curious, that's all. Yeah, well, that'll get you stretched across a few guitars down at Essie's, won't it? It's violins, not guitars. Rushworths, then. How do you manage to get this out? Do you want to join me at Rushworths? What I will tell you is that nobody screws Victor. And I'm knackered. How's that now? Oh, it's all right. Pull the scabs off it yesterday. It hurts a bit if I do too much jumping. Yeah, I hurt somewhere else if I do any of that. <laughs> Still, it could have been worse, couldn't it? Like Dickie Wilson. Yeah, I don't know. Poor sod. Been on the dole for two years. Gets a job at our place. Two months later, he loses his arm. Oh, because that stupid sod on the crane trying to make a name for himself. Mm. Which is why I went out of that game and into this. How is he now? Don't know. I keep on meaning to go round, but... Yeah. Anyway, one thing for sure. What's that? You won't be clapping any more goals at Anfield, will you? <laughs> Come ahead, let's go. Sorry I got bogged down. Oh, that's OK. I didn't relish the idea of walking home tonight. Quite. Now that I'm here, Lucy, I, I wouldn't mind a few words with your parents. Oh. I thought your offer was a little too generous. Pardon? I'd rather you didn't, actually. Oh? It's my problem. My father's made that absolutely clear. I don't understand. Look, I'm, I'm not at your school through choice, am I? My father says I just have to settle down. That's all he'll say if you mention anything to him about tonight. Yes, but surely he'll... I know my own father, for God's sake. And if it gets worse? I thought you were going to keep an eye on me. I've got seven more months before my O-levels. Maybe things will improve. Meanwhile, I shall just keep my head down and serve my time. Oh, that sounds like a very negative attitude. I'm in a very negative situation. Bloody hell are you? Jesus Christ, Karen, what's up? What's happened, love? Hey! Come on. Yeah, put my coat on. Come on, get in the car. Come on. Just hold on a minute. I can't go home, not in this state. You're, you haven't been here. No. I was really scared though, I thought it was going to happen. Who was it? That twin character? Bloody animal. <laughs>
Excuse me. I take it these belong to you. What's it to you? I happen to live next door. Oh, yeah, sorry. Do you want to know what colour underpants I've got on as well, do you? I just want to know what you intend doing with all these things. Well, I could build a garage with them, I suppose. How long are they going to stay there? How often do you screw your missus? What's that? Once a week. Once a fortnight. Once a year. Mind your own damn business. That's the phrase I was looking for. Good night. Yeah. Nosy sod. Nosy bounder. God, it's freezing in here. You better go on to Frank by that central heater. I know how to warm you up. I'm trying to do the two. Hey, come on. You were moaning about it last night. Well, that was last night, the right night. Up to three days after. That's what I was always warned of the danger zone. Later. <laughs> hey, come on. We can have a bath to warm us up first. I thought the immersion was broken. Oh, that was last night. Got someone around here to fix it today. How? Oh, my usual natural charm. And the odd threat about the odd broken leg or two. <laughs> <laughs> oh! God, you ready? <laughs> Does it have to be right now? God, you better get it in while you can, girl, as the actress said to her. <laughs> hey, you can push your bed head up against the wall and give James Bond next door something to moan about. <laughs> you sure you can manage the stairs? You're walking up the stairs. <laughs> Kevin. It needs your coat, don't you? If you don't get it now, it'll set me mum off. Don't move. You're too friggin' right. So I just took her, didn't I? Get that. You bastard! 